Say what's happening, bud? Where are we off to? So we are going to a place called Sabong, which is in the Kalahari. We're gonna see some magnificent dunes. We're going for some big Ilan hands park. The Kota looks nice and big as well. Uh, exciting times. So last year I was speaking to my two friends, Muazzam and uh, Mohammed, and I was telling them, guys, do you know of any place we can go to for a big Ilan? And through the conversation, the name Saratoga came up. And I go like, guys, why don't you organize a booking? And we can go there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Johnny, Johnny. How's it, booty? You okay? Well. What's happening? No, good, man. Good, good, good. good. You ready for the trip? Yeah, yeah, I'm always ready. I'm always ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. How's it, man? What's happening, young man? Hello. You ready for some good hunting? Yes. So when this opportunity presented itself and Moaz and Mohammed called and said, listen, there's this opening with Mr. Strumfa and are you guys game? We didn't hesitate. So early in the morning, I picked up Johnny from Indaba Lodge, that's in Gabarone, where we all live. We started off going to Banks' butcher. We managed to pick up our supplies. We had a little uh, meet and greet there with the guys, you know, introducing everybody to everyone that's on the trip. Yeah, now you're okay. So we Yeah, yeah, Johnny, <laughs> we're ready for rock and roll, my boy. Um, Shai decided that he needs to go and catch a shave. So from there, we left everybody and went to the barber. Came to look sexy for the bush. That's my guy, Javid Bai. Hello. <laughs> 100%. Let's go. It's fun time, game time. And then eventually, we hit the road. I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> we set off from Gabarone, going towards uh, Kanye. Once we were heading out there, Anisha got to realize that there's a cold front coming through. So as soon as we got into the town called Kanye, we went and bought some blankets. Apparently there's a cold front coming. So we gotta make sure that we're nice and comfortable when we're there. And I'm testing out my rope tying skills. Hi, uncle. This is the guy, Hello. Kalari boys, man. How's it? Mr. Mwazza. How's it, bad, are you? How's it? How's it, Mwazza? What's How's happening? It? We traveled in a convoy from Gabs to Kanye, where we picked up Mwazza and Mohammed and then we began the journey to Tabong. We stopped off in Tabong. We stopped off before that on the side of the road because we were starving. Because go, go, go. So we had some good food. Uh, quick snacks. Need to fill the tank, you know, the tank is hey, on E. Yeah, I'm telling you, telling you I've been up. running on E from Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, hey, let me hit it. Oh, Banky, what you say? Playing heartbeat, Shadow. That's why you were heading straight. <laughs> yeah, you overshot the turn, bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say, bud? Nothing much. At least the tank is a bit full now. Can carry on now for the sundown. <laughs> well, we've just hit the gravel road now. We're on route to the farm. So we should be getting there in about 30 k's or so and then set ourselves up for the action that's going to be following through. Stay tuned. It's 
It's about 50 kilometers. We, we actually met uh, Orm Strumpfe waiting for us and he led us here to this farm. As we got to camp, it was about sunset time. We managed to see the magnificent sunset and we drove into the camp and we were basically mesmerized. Yeah, as we enter the Kalahari, feel the soft sand. We're basically home. But in the vehicle now there's also two factors. a lot. First evening at the camp, as you can see, everyone's chilling out. Some are catching up on their phones, but uh, we're enjoying the vibe. Huh? Tomorrow there's going to be a lot of stories around this fire. We're going to call it the Bush TV. Like this, you see? But it wasn't a problem. Why don't it like that? Yes, that's what I want to hear. How do those birds look, man? How's it, guys? Tonight's the first night uh, here in Saratoga. We've got three birds on the fire, taka taka, almost ready. We've got some lemon butter prawns over here. And then we've got peri peri prawns. It's going to be served with uh, rice and uh, peri peri chips and uh, butterboard and salad. Sorry, I'm late. Ah, it's all good. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth the wait. So, what's happening, bud? Ah. Just making sure that the gun rest, the uh, shooting sticks are okay. Yeah. As we're going to be going out this morning, if you feel it. looking to see if we can get the Ila and the Hemsbach. Well, that's what's on the quota first, but uh, we're very excited. We have seen some potential since yesterday. Now it's all about going out there to get them. So we just got on the vans, we're getting ready to go out for the hunt. Um, we put the hunters in the front vehicle. Kamran and Samir. Shad and I will be in here, but we both got guns, so if we come across something, it needs to go down. We're the opening batsman, me and my son. We got onto the cruiser, we drove down, driving, driving, we came across some nice Hemsbach. Nice one, champ. 
As you were driving, we saw these beautiful hemp park on the side. Uh, we followed them, and this guy wasn't giving us a good shot. He was giving us an angle. So the first shot wasn't good, but the second shot, we put it hot lung and it went down. So we're just taking a drive to see if we can get some other chemis, or if Elan comes through, then yeah, we can knock it down also. The first one is down, I'm going for the second one, my one. It was nice to start off the shooting with my dad. Uh, we shot good Hems box and it's been amazing. Yes, sir. We're heading off for the afternoon session and uh, we're hoping to get the Elan and maybe even the Hemsbach. You know, I always love to hunt Elan. It's the most exciting the most thrilling for me. At first, it was two of them running together and they were zigzagging the whole time. I love a running shot. It's just up my alley and I managed to get a very good shot and stopped it on its tracks. So we managed to get this thing on the run, it was a serious chase and basically the guy said take a shot, so I took a brilliant shot, dropped it, it was a spine shot and he pulled the handbrake, they call this the handbrake shot, if you can follow the tracks you'll see what it's all about. Oh, thumbs up. <laughs> right. Hold that, love. Two. Can I watch the camera? On the... You see how it's... 
While we were basically driving back to camp, we managed to see one bull. I actually tried to go for a headshot, but I was just a bit on the lower end. Managed to shoot it and it ran off. So while we were on the chase to look for it, we managed to find another bull. You know, fortunately enough, the golden hour presented the golden shot. Maza, I think you made it more difficult for him. <laughs> so this is the hump, guys. Uh, it was what we call Nundu. The guys improvised and got some sticks made for us here from the bush. We're gonna put them on. We're gonna have a sick kebab with them. Some garlic butter. Day two morning, just uh, Samir, uh, Kamran, myself, and Johnny going out. Let's see what we get. The plan this morning is uh, to go and look for some chemis, some wild beasts, and eland. So let's see what comes across. We put it down. <laughs> Yeah. 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 We are just checking uh, for the wounded uh, Hemsbach, so the trackers are just trying to get onto the tracks and then we do a follow-up. The trackers were very good, they were fantastic, they got onto the tracks and went off straight to where the, the Hemswag was. So we've found the Hemswag we were looking for from yesterday. And uh, the guys say uh, the hyena picked up the blood and followed it until it got to it. And it started uh, feeding on it. Madam. 
the bull was giving us a broadside, so I hit it in a hot lung. Uh, it ran about 20 meters, then it dropped. That's it. That's it. Well done, well done. What a beast, man. What a beast. <laughs> Fifty-nine. I'm for forty. Yeah. With a bullet in the pipe. Thanks, John. Hey, I'm not typing. It's all I see in your mind. Nice pool, man. Oh. Okay. You shoot behind oh, the ear. Why didn't you shoot behind the ear? Hey, get the now you <laughs> f***ing <laughs> be shooting the ear. Uh, we seen this beautiful bull off the bucky. I took a shot just behind the ear. It didn't go down, it ran a bit behind the tree. Uh, so we got off and got onto the shooting sticks. As we set up to take the shot, it turned around and ran off a bit. I hit it in the run behind the head. Well done, boss. Thanks. Yep. Nice one. Nice bull. <laughs> On the hunt for my Khemsbak bull, about 10 meters behind the Khemsbak that I was lined up to take down, there was this monster eland chilling under the tree. That is the monster eland that we are after. The front one, huh, Samir? The front one. And back one. Yes, this one here. Shad always told me about the great Kalahari chase, the great eland. My husband's favorite animal that he said you can only shoot when it's on the run and you only get to experience this in Botswana in the Kalahari. And through the years, he has always insisted that one day we need to do this together. We chased them for a good, I would say, 20 minutes before we managed to single out some of the bulls. I lined up and I shot I would say a bit lower, but on the spine, in line. And this slowed him down, but it didn't stop him. The Eland then ran into a sort of an opening where Om Strumpfe switched off the van. I managed to line up and place it perfectly. He dropped in his tracks and I couldn't be more ecstatic. I got so emotional. It's my first ever proper Kalahari chasing Eland on the run. Whew. No shakes, but yeah. <laughs> that is intense. That is intense. Thank you. It was on the spine, but he just missed it. Oh. That's why it was running. But it's moving, yeah. I'd like to start off by saying I'm very proud of Anisha, my wife. We were on a 30 minute chase for this beautiful Ilan. We were on a situation whereby we were going through the thickets, getting a small opening, and then once she got the opportunity, she, she took a brilliant shot. Very proud of her.
and now being able to do this alongside my husband is actually just a dream come true. A memory made and many more to come. So after that, we had our main man, oh Johnny, come into the hot seat. We previously hunted together in uh, Heinefeld, whereby he never had the cleanest shot and it was a bit low, but Johnny's always up for the challenge, you know, he never backs down. Wow! Shot, shot. Nice, 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 Hey, we got a quick hands back as we loaded the Elan. In under, in under about 10 minutes, we managed to get this hands back. Johnny wasn't shy to shoot. There's the end result. Jonathan Schwartz! <laughs> I'm so glad. Um, about two years ago, we got a chance. Uh, so you gave me a chance at Hannibal. Yes, sir. To take a uh, game spark, and uh, I royally messed that up. I think I shot it in the big toe first. I think in the leg, the third shot. But thank you so much for the opportunity. And welcome. giving me the chance to redeem myself. It really means a lot for me. 100%. Welcome to Botswana. Thank you. Hello. Come One, two, three. Mm. So it's the last day of the hunt, Saturday morning. We wanted to have an early start. We said on the vans by 7.30. It's 10 to 8 and if you look around you, it's just me and Um. We've been ready. And they say women are never on time. Isn't Um? The Fro the Macy was ready. So anyway, uh, we've got a big quota left. We've got an Eland. I think one or two Hemsbach and three Wildebeest. So the sooner we get on the back of those vans, the quicker we can let the lead fly. There's nothing like the smell of gunpowder in the morning. It's phenomenal. So here's to a good day. this guy solo uh, he didn't give me the best shot he was facing me he was facing his booty to me <laughs> I waited for him to turn and I went behind the ear I did get it but he took off and then he stood still and I finished him off beautiful ball two clean shots brought us this trophy home well done girl thank you Anisha and Shai had already shot the Elan and um, it was my turn now in the hot seat looking for the Elan. On the way we are looking and scouting for, for Elan, we came across a Hemsbach. <laughs> Me. And as he shot this Hemsbach, when we got closer we realised it was a cow. Unfortunately, when we get closer, 
he realizes that it's a female and then he snaps. Problem is you guys also stopping. We already said a plan must stick to the plan. Right, anyway, f it, let's go. Let's load it up, let's take the picture and go. You know, he's like, he made everyone feel like, hey, it was your fault that I shot this animal. But you know what, we ended off with a good laugh and uh, that's part of it, you know, you have a good cracker now and then, lighten up everyone's mood and then we carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we left the herd of Elan. Unfortunately, there were no bulls in that herd. Um, so Sam has gotten to the driver's seat and I've taken over. We come across the Hemsbach, we'll take it down. So when it was the time to take uh, my hems back. Um, we circled a bit uh, around the farm, um, trying to pick out a good bull. Unfortunately, we didn't come across one. Um, later that afternoon, due to time constraints, we decided to take out uh, a cow, and what a cow it was. Dazzy! Uh, Dazzy! <laughs> <laughs> well done, thanks. Yeah. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Bang. Good shooting, man. Good shooting. Good shooting, back. So we went out for a drive on the last afternoon. We came across this cow and we decided to take it down. A good trophy over 40 inches. Was it a 300? Yeah. Was? coming here now. We, we, we came across my beautiful animal, the one that I love the most, they call it the poor man's buffalo, uh, the wild beasts. One stood and gave me a nice shot, and boom! Thank you, my favorite animal. Just to go and see there, another female. <laughs> so they call me the lady killer. To end of the safari, uh, me and Muazzam, we saw uh, two hemsbok. I took the first one, it ran a little bit and it dropped. Then Muazzam took the second one and it dropped right there. Dazi! And we took a doubler. <laughs> well done, come on. Thank you. So we're ending off with a double up. Hip hip! Hooray!
Johnny. Toga 2024, that's a wrap, Ruth. Thank you to my husband. Thank you, my love. Every time we go to the bush is always an adventure. Great memories always being made, and I look forward to making many, many more with you. I'd also like to thank Anisha for always coming on this hunting trips with me. She's my other half, and I really appreciate everything she brings to our life. Kamran, Samir, Yaish, Johnny, Mohammed, Moazam, Minha, thank you guys for joining us on this trip, for the laughs, for the memories, the good food, and to many more to come, guys. So uh, Meats and Treats was given the opportunity to arrange the full catering for this uh, trip. All meals were prepared by myself and Martin. Part of the trip is the excellent food they get, and we just want to bring quality to the experience. I'm thankful for Shai, Danisha for planning the trip and for everyone else, Moazam, Flaky, Samir, Johnny, everyone. I thank everyone for the trip and the opportunity and we look forward to many more. Big thank you to my brother, Shahid, and the entire team, uh, Anisha, Kamran, Yaish, Moazam, Mohammed, and Mr. Strumfa himself and Johnny. A very, very big thank you for making this whole thing happen. Hey guys, it was a real awesome time in the Kalari year in 2024 on Saratoga and we're hoping for many more trips. Thank you all and let's hope next year we can make something else even greater. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nish, what's happening bro? Looks a bit shaky. I don't know. We're bobbing and weaving here, but bobbing and weaving, yeah. Um, some lekker, like, uh, what's this one called? Dal and rice. Dal and rice. What do you think? Yeah, Lani, now call me Jonathan now. Hey, very good. Oh, very good. Tops, bangs, bangs. Well done, man. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the charcoal. Look at that chop, dude. Hey, shh, Ben, what are you doing, Ben? Huh? We're talking hey, about the chop. What are you doing? Our inner sausage. We lost the chop, but... Last chop. What? Inner sausage. I think